Well, let's discuss that in detail now with John Nichols, a co-director of the Bilingual European School in Milan. Uh, thank you for being on the programme. Just talk us through the logistics. Your school is closed, isn't it? The school is closed. It's been closed now for two weeks and we're starting our third week now. So um, we had the announcement, first of all, that Milan schools were closed and we got that uh, two weeks ago on the Sunday and the Monday we had a training week, a, a, a holiday week. So our children were off, but our teachers were coming in for training. So we had to rapidly change our teacher training to a online teacher training. Um, and then a week later, then we uh, had our school open again, uh, but only online. So we're now in our second week of the children being back at school, but having to stay at home and be taught at home. So they are e-learning your students and, and is that working? I must admit being a parent I know if I was at home with mine and they were supposed to be e-learning I'd have a real job to get them to do anything. They're, they're loving it and, and surprisingly so. So first of all the we have a lot of our platforms we we're using anyway so uh, the children that have a one-to-one -one iPad um, program so they're used to using the iPads their work is shared with parents and responded to on the iPads as well. And then, um, so that's been in place already. So they were used to that. And then we introduced uh, kind of virtual video conferencing uh, lessons as well. And the, the children have really liked it actually. And we've also done lessons with the parents on how, how these things work. So the stress in the parents is less than, than you'd think. So, so are you a, a fee-paying international school? So I assume you, you've got good resources, is, is that fair to say? And I wondered whether schools across northern Italy that are state-funded, how they're doing? Yeah, I, th I think that's a, that's a fair point. We're very, we're very well resourced, so we have a very strong IT team. And we have, uh, you know, as I said, iPads and also other, other resources as well. Uh, the, the Italian Ministry of Education actually sent out a document last night which was um, showing the expectations for online learning for all Italian schools. So they're expecting the Italian schools to do this however they're resourced. All right, we've got to leave it there unfortunately, we're out of time, but John, thank you very much for joining us, we really appreciate it. John Nichols there, co-director of the Bilingual European School in Milan, telling us how it's going.